What's up, everybody? Toxic Ginger here. Just wanted to. I found out something really special. Um, I just kind of stumbled across it. I'm not the one. I'm not gonna take credit that I found it because I didn't find it. I mean, I stumbled. I just stumbled across it on the on the internet, and uh, I figured I'd share it with y'all. Um, for those who uh, who didn't already know, um, the uh, DLC coming out, um, the Seraphim Vault. It, well, it's, it's just like a secret bunker. Um, I'm gonna show you how to get into it. Um, it's on Earth. All right, let's move. Keep an eye. What out. you're gonna do? You're gonna head uh, straight to the Forgotten Shore. However way you want to do it, I, this is just the most direct route. Because this is probably about the fourth or fifth time I've gone through here, and I pretty much know where I'm going. So there was a public event, and I was like, "Nope, not happening." I'm on a mission. Want to get into this vault? So, uh, so you want to head straight to the uh, to the Forgotten Shores. If you want to do the do the public event, you know. That's up to you, man. Just wasn't feeling it right then, so I had to let it slide. But uh, you're gonna head to the back side of the mountain on the uh, Forgotten Shore, past the ships. Past all this, and if you don't remember. Well, I mean, I, well, I found it just exploring around, but the, underneath there is like uh, a place where uh, a bunch of uh, knights are down there. So, All right, what you want to do is you want to turn around and pull up your ghost right out uh, while you're in the open. You'll inch forward and it'll say uh, summon vehicle. So when it does that, just as it's out there and you want to turn around. After it says summon vehicle, you want to turn around because it'll still say summon vehicle. Once you summon your, uh, your, uh, is that freaking speeder bike thing, your sparrow, you're going to push right into the mountain. And you'll see there's a, there's a dead ghost right there on the corner of this side right here. And then you want to jump to this side. Now here's the tricky part because I did spawn, one time I spawned on the inside of there. So you want to get really close to the wall, but not go too far into the wall, and it's got to have a loading screen. As soon as the loading screen comes up, you're in. You're you're ready to on to the next phase. Um, sometimes it's difficult because you don't want to exactly hit the wall. Because if you hit the wall, like I said, I spawn on the inside. So there it is. It loaded up. Now you want to jump down that way. Come around. There should be like a big, yeah. This thing right here. Come around the corner. Around here, around here. Now it's time for some parkour. Parkour, parkour. Go that way. Down. Around. You want to jump up right there and right right down under there um this this part was like the hardest part because I was trying to as soon as you jump across that beam right there you can fall down in there which awesome um this this coming up part is like kind of tricky you gotta kind of feel your way around it and kind of go with the flow once like how I did it was uh I got all the way over and I started sliding. And I jumped back up. Once I felt myself myself start sliding, I let it slide. And then when I fell down to right the about the right spot, I hit the A button, jump, and I kind of floated over towards it. So I guess it's I did it three or four times. So it may take you all a couple times. You'll have to go back to orbit and redo it all again. So, but once you get in. 
it is awesome and I think I'm just gonna go back to the start look at all that so we're down in the bunker and right there's where the knights are that's on the other side so there you go just gonna take a you know peep around in case y'all want to check it out you can't go too far down into it but that's you know that's okay it's still cool that it's there and we can get into it I know people were uh, like glitching into it by uh, like leaving the fire team, but it's glad to know there's a there's a glitch to uh, do it by yourself, and you don't have to have somebody with you in case you want to do some a little bit of exploring and uh, kind of hang out down there if you want, or invite some people and show them where it's at. That's always awesome. Just tell them to join your fire team and they'll be spawning in the vault. So it's always fun to get down in there first and then uh, invite your friends. I think, I think there's a dead ghost. I don't think it said anything, but uh, yeah. So there you guys have it Seraphim Vault. walk around in it I think this is gonna be like this looks like a like a battle arena I think I don't know just throwing stuff out there it looks like there's some way you can get in there and it looks like there would be a boss fight maybe it's like something I don't know it looks like like one of those hive seater things but There's a hole up there, and all that stuff. So, come on, Bungie, let us know the DLC. What's going on? <laughs> come on, man. Nah, it's alright. Like I said, I'm glad we can find it and see it. And uh, there's there's the ghost. So. And I don't think there's too much else there, so that's about it, fellas. Um, Y'all have a great day. Um, hope you uh, like the video. Um, if you got any questions or you need help getting in the vault, message me. If you're on Xbox 360, I'll help you get in. I know how to get in. So, uh, alright guys. I'm going to say peace out. Thanks for watching.